I have a rat's nest of wiring under my print bed, so today I'm going to print a case to help with the cable management. The case that I decided to print is the Smoothie Board Slim Box by M. Dietz on Thingiverse. One change I made to the design is a 13mm hole over near the end stops so I can pass the wires directly through. Now I need to remove the printed supports off of the print. The support material was being stubborn so I removed the rest off of camera. This can usually be avoided by printing at a slightly lower temperature. Now I'm going to unplug everything from the smoothie board. Make sure you turn off the power to the board before you start unplugging. I'm going to remove this small power connector because it won't fit in the smoothie board case with it on and I don't use it. Now we can test the fit with the power input which you can see right here removed. You can see right here, it also wasn't designed for this connector, but it only makes a small misalignment in the holes and I can remove it later if I want to put screws through. Now I can start attaching connectors. I'm going to start with the USB port. Make sure it's not plugged into a computer and doesn't have power. You can see because of the end stop hole I made, I can feed my end stops right through. I worked on the wiring some more, and as you can see it looks pretty good, and a lot better than it did before. For now, I'm going to be using the case without a lid but if I decide I want one in the future, I can easily print one. I also would like to, in the future, make a piece of plywood that would sit in this groove right here as a bottom plate, so when I slide the printer around, this would never touch the table.
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and please subscribe for more 3D printing videos.